Hello and welcome back to the Calculator Review, hosted on Caloquin.com. Sorry there's been such a long hiatus between reviews, but I'm back and ready to review more calculators. Let me just bring the microphone in a little closer. Okay, so, uh, today I am reviewing the Texas Instrument TI-108, also known as the calculator in literally every school ever in the history of time. Now. Uh, as I was preparing this review and cleaning these calculators, I discovered something pretty amazing. So let me bring the camera down just a little bit. Sorry for the shaking. So I have two versions of the TI-108. I did not know until just recently that there are actually two different versions of this. I never really compared them side by side because I always assumed they were the same thing. but. As you can see here, they're not. They're slightly different shades of blue. Um, this one didn't come with its case, so that's not really part of it. It also has the Texas Instrument logo down here on the bottom, whereas this one has it up at the top. I believe this is the older version, and this is the newer one, and I have a few reasons for that. So if you notice on the back of these, this one mentions an LR1130 battery, while this one does not. So if I were to turn them both on and then cover up their displays, you'll notice that the one on the right starts to lose power much, much faster. That's because there's no battery inside of it. And actually looking at these again, they have completely different displays. I don't know how I didn't notice this until just recently. This is baffling to me, actually. So, I have disassembled one of these, yes, I have dis disassembled this one. Uh, inside it didn't have a battery or anything. Um, I had to do a little bit of damage to it while taking it apart, but it still functions just fine. Uh, it had these little clips, as you'll see in some of the pictures, that hold it in that I had to snip off so that I could get to the front side of this. But I'm going to set this one aside now because I did a pretty thorough look at it for the written review, so I want to focus on this one for a very specific reason, and that is because I want to take this one apart. Originally I wasn't going to, but because of this discovery that it's actually a completely different calculator, I want to find out what's going on. So I believe this is a dual powered calculator, which is pretty cool considering um, it's, a, it's a pretty well known calculator. And I, I'm a big fan of the dual powered because they're more, a lot more reliable. You don't have to worry about always having sunlight to do your calculations. Okay, so I do want to disassemble this with minimal damage because this is one of my favorites. And I know I could get another one very easily because these are everywhere. But I'm, I don't want to get in the habit of destroying calculators just to see the inside of them. All right, let's see if I can find my little knife here. It's not here. Ooh, actually, it's perfect. So it will be interesting to see the inside of this because. It's probably significantly different than the other one. And wow, yeah. Um, this is a completely different design. Uh, I, w I would go as far as saying that this is a completely different calculator in a lot of ways. Uh, so I said I wasn't going to take this one apart again, but I really, I'm really fascinated by this. So I would like to take, the diff take a look at the differences. So even the screws that are holding these things together are different. So this one wasn't exactly designed to be taken apart, but alas, it can be. There we go. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying, we have two very, very different calculators here. 
Uh, I don't think I really even need to go into the details about what's different. The, the motherboards are completely different. Uh, we got different uh, part numbers inside, which makes sense because they are different parts. Now, the newer calculator actually is kind of disappointing because it uses this cheap ribbon, whereas this doesn't at all. Um, it's actually a lot easier. I don't want to take it apart, but uh, it's a lot easier to damage this than this. Now, granted, you're not going to be taking this one apart, so it really doesn't matter how strong that that is. But this one is going to be taken apart. Now, they probably designed it this way to fit in the battery component, but that is a bit of a shame that they couldn't figure out a more reliable way. Now, I'm not going to pry this up very hard. Oh, I can just lift up the whole screen. Okay, very, very gently. Just going to take a look at this. So, it's not overly cheap. It's reinforced with what appears to be um, some kind of electrical tape. So this isn't going to tear easily. Which is good because if you ever do need to replace this battery, uh, you're not going to want to risk completely destroying the calculator. But really, really cool to see that these are totally different devices. Um, now functionally, they are they are the same. They both do the same types of math. They're both extremely durable, extremely reliable. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, calculator lines there is. Um, I absolutely love these calculators. I love the, the color scheme. I love the color scheme. I really like the protective case that comes standard. Um, and the price. These are very, very inexpensive to find. In fact, you could steal them from pretty much any kid you see, and they don't put up much of a fight. Now, I purchased these, so I didn't have to commit any acts of violence. But you shouldn't really have to if you live near a school. Right, getting these back together real quick. So I'll focus on the newer design from this point forward, because I'm a lot more interested in that. So, setting that aside. So, uh, it does have a bit of a flex to it. I'm not, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it, but you, you can probably see that it's bending just a little bit. Um, that shouldn't affect the calculator. These things can put, take a lot of abuse. Um, and then when you have the uh, case on, it, it's even stronger. Like there, now it has absolutely no give because you have two points of, or more than two points of uh, reinforcement here. So this protective case is going to work. It's going to prevent accidental calculations. And yeah, or not actually. Let's let's see if we can clear the memory real quick. Okay. So with nothing on it, just zero. Kind of curious how easy it is to press buttons on this. So just give it a couple more bends, whatever. All right, and three. Now I don't know what actually what occurred, but some form of calculation did. Uh, this doesn't have any uh, reverse function, sadly. But considering how ubiquitous these calculators are, I don't I don't have really uh, I don't have a whole lot of complaints. So you will get accidental calculations, and it, but that's okay because this thing will turn off automatically. And I did actually test this off camera because it took quite a while, but I covered up the. Actually, I'll just show this thing in here. So just typing in eight eight eight, whatever, and then covering up this. So yeah, it's not going to work on this one <laughs> because this is also battery powered. But I switch over to this one, which is has no battery in it whatsoever. Typing in eight 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 eight, and then allowing the the power to run out. I'm going to let it get all the way down to where I can't even see anything. It shouldn't show up on camera at all. But when I release it, it shows that the number is still there. So it actually does hold the memory for at least a few minutes. And I tested this. Um, off camera before where I covered this up and left the room for about 10 minutes and came back and then it actually did clear the memory so the memory is volatile 
uh, at least in the older model. Uh, I, well, <laughs> yeah, so this doesn't turn off auto, uh, quite as quickly. As you can see, this was under there for about a minute while I was looking at the other calculator. But yeah, it's not really a whole lot to worry about. Just be aware that you're you're not going to have permanent memory in either one of these probably. I, I highly doubt that the memory lasts in this one for more than, say, an hour. So, just something to keep in mind. So yeah, that's the uh, TI-108. These are calculators that I grew up with. Uh, I use them extensively in school, I, and I know that a lot of other people have as well. So, uh, highly, highly recommended. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. And...